Hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Curb. Here at Skill Curb, we post daily videos on new cutting edge technologies. Today, we're going to explore Blackbox.ai. Blackbox is not just an AI pair programming tool, it comes with tons of integrations like WhatsApp integration and terminal integration, which means you can add it to Kona or any other command line. I've never paid a single penny to use this tool. Maybe in the future, they're going to charge for the VS Code extension and their services. But for now, everything that I'm going to show you in this video is completely free. First off, I'm going to give you an overview of what blackbox.ai is. So let's jump to their website. So we are here at blackbox.ai. This tool has plenty to offer and I just don't know where to start. You can actually create your own custom agents with it for which you will have to pay ChatGPT 4 to create custom GPTs. But here, I mean, I didn't pay anything and I created this laptop pricing agent. You can actually go and share it. One more thing that I really like about this is if you go and paste in that link and open up your custom chatbot, also comes with this plus button here with which you can actually add attachments and they accept a lot of files, MP4, SVG, JPG. There's a ton of attachments and ask questions about it. You can actually go and insert code in between these parameters and it will know that this is code and you want to ask questions about that code. And that was just the overview. I'm going to go and show you how you can actually create your own agent from scratch. So back at their homepage, we can see they offer tons of integrations like the terminal integration. This one is going to be for Python terminals or Conda environments. Just like this, you can install Blackbox into your Conda environment or any other command line environment. They also offer you a WhatsApp integration. You can ask it multiple questions inside your WhatsApp, but you don't have to actually go to web and install another app. You can just chat with it inside your WhatsApp. If you go there, it will prompt you to open up your WhatsApp. And this is the screenshot of the conversation that I just had with Blackbox AI, where I asked it to tell me a joke about software developers. Isn't this mind blowing? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It actually comes with a VS Code extension. If you click here, it will take you to the VS Code extension, which I have already installed, and I'm going to review that as well. All in all, Blackbox AI is way better than ChatGPT. And this is not just me saying this, this is something that I found over the web, which clearly states that Blackbox AI is better at its job. And if we go and view their model page, they even give you the reason why they're building Blackbox. They say that the Blackbox AI is a coding LLM designed to transform the way we build software. So basically is a beast in the realm of coding. And here comes the stats. And Blackbox AI is on top with 85.36 human evolve, which is just mind blowing. So let's actually go and build our very own custom chatbot using Blackbox AI. Back at their homepage, all you have to do is click on this create your own AI assistant. Just click on that and here you will have to add the name, the instruction for the agent and the knowledge base. For that, you can actually add URL or you can actually add files. So I'm going to go with files and I'm also going to tell you where you can actually download these files. So we're going to go to Kaggle.com and we're going to download a data set from there. Then we're going to put data set right in here. So let's go to Kaggle. So here on Kaggle, just scroll down and let's say we want to download uh, this one here the brand laptops data set. So let's go and do that. What you can do is you can actually download any data set about any programming language or something related to medical feed and just create your very own chatbot related to that. But just to demonstrate this in this video and keep it as simple as possible, I'm gonna go with a really simple and general looking data set. So I'm gonna go and download this one and it's gonna be a CSV file, a comma separated file, and it's gonna have this information the brand, model, price, rating, much more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our very own laptops expert. So let's go back to our black box AI and here click on create your own AI assistant. I'm gonna go and name it laptop expert. And I'm gonna say you're an expert of laptops. You can actually add a really detailed instruction here. But as I just said, I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna go and add the file that I just downloaded. So I'm gonna go and select this laptops.csv and just open it right in here. You can actually publish your chatbot to public or keep it private. So I'm gonna go with public because why not? So let's create our chatbot and within seconds, your chatbot is here. Now let's actually go and test this out. So I'm gonna go and ask it, what are the best five laptops? 
and let's just hit enter. If you look at the start, it says that based on the provided data. So now you know that it's actually searching from the data set that you actually provided it, not from any other knowledge base, which makes it kind of reliable because you're going to manually feed in the best data, right? And if you scroll down, and in the bottom is going to give you a Python snippet, which actually generates the top five laptops from that CSV file. So that is how simple it actually is to create your ready own custom chatbot. And you don't have to pay subscriptions like you do in ChatGPT4. I didn't pay anything till now. I don't know about future, but, and it has all the features. Like you can continue the chat, you can regenerate, you can actually share this chat with anyone else, or you can start a new chat. And the best option about this, because this is based on a coding LLM, it gives you this amazing option of insert code. So that was all about black box custom chatbots. Now let's actually go and test out the black box AI inside the VS code. So here on my VS code, I have a Next.js 14 project open up and I'm going to test out the black box AI's extension. It is a one click install. All you have to do is go to their website, click on this VS code. It will take you to this web page here. You just have to click on install and it will pop up this option here where you can actually open up your Visual Studio code and just click on install. So that is how simple it is to install this extension. So here you can see you have two different features. One is to code chat and the other one is to review the history and the different comments that you made over GitHub. So I'm going to go with the black box code chat. So let me get this a bit bigger. So here, if you can see, it comes with these three features, but it has much more than that. It can actually explain the code, comment code, find bugs, and much more. And before you have to go to a browser, open up ChatGPT, and put in your queries. But now you have that chatbot right in here, sitting inside your VS code. And this option here, it makes sure that the chat is relevant to the code that you're actually working on. So I'm gonna go and actually choose one of the scenarios that it comes with. That is the React login. So let's click on that. And within seconds, it generated the code right in here. And if you go up, you can see citations of the resources that it used. It went to geeks for geeks and all these websites to actually build this code. So that was how you can actually generate code using Blackbox AI. But that's not the only way you can actually work with this. But now what I'm going to do is one of my favorite options. So if you go here, you can see this plus icon here. If you click on that, you can actually have a discussion with Blackbox inside your code. So I'm gonna go and ask it to explain this put method to me. And there you go, Blackbox AI has an explanation of the method. It says that this put method is used to update a job in the database. Here's how it works. So it actually breaks down the process, make an outline and explain everything, which is mind blowing. And you can ask a follow-up question right here. I'm gonna go and ask something like the rate descriptive comments for this code. And there you go, the comments are right in here. And you can actually work on your markdown file and the documentation while you're developing, which is just mind blowing. Now, what about debugging? So let's go and try debugging this code. So I'm gonna go and actually induce an error in this code. So I'm gonna go and say something like this. So I have induced a simple bug in this code just to demonstrate how powerful Blackbox AI is. So I'm gonna go and actually select all the code right in here, and I'm gonna ask it to debug this code. So there you go, it actually went down and debugged the whole code and here is the debug version and I removed this insert from the original code and it has it right in here. So this way we actually know that it actually works. If we go back to the original code, we can see that I don't have that insert right in here. So if I add that insert here, everything is back to normal. That shows the potential of Blackbox AI at debugging and that is literally not all it can do. It also comes with an auto completion tool and you don't have to pay for GitHub Copilot or any other paid auto complete tool. All you need to do is hit tab and you can accept the code that is suggesting. Just see how the chain starts. Just hit the tab and the code is being generated. All you have to do is hit tab and the suggested code will be there. Just like that, you can continue to accept the suggested code and black box auto completion is really up to the mark. And that wraps up our video for today. We thoroughly explored Blackbox AI. We went on and explored the custom chatbots that we can create using Blackbox AI and how proficient those chatbots are. We went on and tested the WhatsApp integration. We saw the terminal integration. We went on in depth in the VS Code integration. We covered all of its features. We did the explanation of the code, generated comments, 
debug the code, we went and used the chat module inside the VS code, we actually went and used the auto completion as well. And I'm overwhelmed at how much we covered today in a short amount of time. I hope this video added value and I highly recommend Black Box AI. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Subscribe to Skill Curb for new cutting edge technologies. Ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Stay curious and keep exploring.